after shedding my blood, sweat and tears. Sivin through a hundred plus companies in the London Stock Exchange last weekend. I finally have found a company that is worth. Hi guys, it's your favourite YouTuber again, Danny Solari, and you're watching DS Leonard Furnace. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The company of interest is called Bellway Place. I said Bellway Place. Thank you. Let's pat myself on the back for that. Mm -hmm. Yep. What do they do? Don't know. So, don't ask me. Any other silly questions? Let me explain. As an investor, there are tons of companies to invest in. And to dive into those companies individually and truly know what that company is about takes time. Mm -hmm. And um, we're talking like roughly one day per company. So just from simple maths, so one day times tons of companies equals tons of days. And I ain't got time for that, do you? Uh -huh, that's what I thought. So you need some sort of filtration process to sieve between all the useless companies, because there are useless companies, loads of them, and find the diamonds in the dirt, find the really good potential companies. Keyword being potential. With that said, I've managed to find a company that is worth a while, that is worth my time and has a lot of potential. Let me explain the reason why this is so. Number one, they've been in the stock market since 1988. They've been there longer than I've been born. And not only that they've survived that 30 year period, but the share price has been increasing ever since 1988 when they first entered. Yeah. Yeah, and the only severe dip that I saw in the share price was in May 2008 and that makes sense because that's when the LSE, the London Stock Exchange, had a market crash. So all stocks would have had that dip. But nonetheless, they've been, the share price has been steadily increasing for 30 plus years, bruh. Like, bruh. Two, the revenue and the profit has been increasing for the past four years which is expectable because that's the high standards that i set myself for any stock that i invest in well any sort of normal stock that i would invest in and make sure at least their revenue and profits have been increasing consecutively for the past three years at least but with that said bellway place it's been increasing for the last four years so that's a bonus three all the basic information is reasonable which doesn't really back it. It doesn't really, um, how shall I phrase this? It doesn't really like influence your decision in terms of making that a worthwhile company because to be honest, any company that you consider investing in, you have to set at least a standard. So with that said, they have reasonable values for their basic information. Like their PE ratio is like 8.31, which is decent. I like to set myself for a range um, lower than 25. So the price to earning ratio has to be lower to, than 25 for me to sort of be interested in that sort of stock. So that's my standard. Also, you have a dividend yield of 3.96%, which is pretty good to be fair. Bear in mind that I like to invest in companies that are two to 3%. So 3.9% is high, but it's not massively high. And understandably so, they've been doing well for the past years and the stock is very very liquid you have high volumes with which range between 320,000 since I last saw it which was last week um, so yeah there's there's a lot of potential with this company four they have a market cap of 3.8 billion pounds that's a lot of money but <laughs> even better is that the profit, the operating income that they made last year, yeah, last year, gross profit, 
was around 662 million pounds. Now you're probably thinking that's a lot of money, which is true, but it's that money, that profit that they make in relation to the market cap that really, really makes a difference. So with that said, if you divide the last year profit by the market cap, that gives an 18% profit, which means that this company is very, very, very profitable. Like very, very profitable. Now I know this might not make sense to some of you guys, but if you think about it this way, I promise you it will make sense. Yeah, quick maths. Anyway, um, yeah, so imagine you were a multi-billionaire and you decide to come and invest in a company like Bellway Place. You have 3.8 billion to buy that company out, which is effectively the collected money from every shareholder in the stock market for Bellway Place stocks. So you have 3.8 billion and you decide to buy it out. But when you buy it out, every year you're gonna be getting 18% of what you initially put into it. That is crazy, guys. That is really good. And number five, which is not a set in stone sort of advantage, but is a potential advantage, is Bellaway Pace. They're in the FTSE 250 right now but they have potential to enter the FTSE 100. Now companies that enter the FTSE 100 have a market cap of roughly four to 4.6 billion pounds plus. And with that said, Bellway Place, they're currently at 3.8 billion pounds plus. So they've only got a little bit to jump to that next level and join the FTSE 100. And when you have a company going from a lower tier to a higher tier, it's basically called a breakup. And when you have a breakout, yeah, there's a lot of ants. When you have a breakout, the share price skyrockets. It, it really goes up initially. Maybe after like all the hype is gone, it starts to cool off. But nonetheless, that company will have a higher share price than what it had before in the lower tier. And yeah, Bellway Place have been doing this for 30 years. Their share price has been increasing for 30 years. So I'm pretty sure eventually they're gonna reach the FTSE 100. And that is a sort of big, big bonus factor with looking at this company. It's got a lot of potential, I can't lie. One thing that has made me a bit, well, quite skeptical about investing in this company is the share price is £30.67. Yep, that's a lot for a FTSE 100 company, let alone a FTSE 250 company. £30, £31 pretty much per share. That's expensive. But at the same time, because the share price has been increasing for that long, it's only gonna continue increasing for this stock. And I guess even though you may be paying a pricey share price at the end of the day, if the share price is going to increase in the future, then it's still technically cheap. But gosh, can you give a brother a discount? And that doesn't mean that I'm ready to invest or you should be ready to invest. Mm -mm, nope. No. Nope. What that does mean is that I have to read read and read some more and we all know how i like reading <sighs> but it's time to really dig in deep now and actually understand the fundamentals so look at the 10ks and the 10qs look at past seminars that have been held by bellway place and look at other information around the company including news too yeah i'm not looking forward to it <laughs> But yeah, it's necessary in order to make sure that you truly understand the company that you're investing in. And my question for you guys is, what company has caught your eyes? Hit me up in the comments box below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share DS Learning Finance. Whoa. 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 Bye guys.